Hello folks and welcome to another show of Central Coast Bass. This morning I'm out here at Lopez Lake. It's uh, beginning of May and the technique I'm going to be showing you today is jerking. And we're going to go out here and see if we can get ourselves some good fish on this technique. So enjoy and uh, let's see if we can get ourselves some fish. <laughs> little small mouth almost as big as the lure as you can see I'm working this lure again very parallel and as you try to keep it about five, six feet out, and I'm working along these, these steeper walls here. This lure usually works better in clear water when you're doing jerking. It's usually not that effective if you have really dirty water. You usually want to have at least a three or four foot or more visibility. And because of that, I like to use a, a lighter line when I'm doing the jerking. I have 10 pound on here. in that clear water and a little easier for the fish to see a line or a heavier line and usually with this jerking you're out far enough that you're not really hitting up against any any rocks or anything so you don't have to worry so much about it getting frayed or nicked This lighter line really helps catch us some more fish in clear water. And it usually helps give the lure a little bit more action when it's down there than if you have a heavier line on. Heavier lines tend to weigh down the lure and it doesn't give it as good of an erratic action as using eight or ten pound line. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Another little small mouth. Woohoo! He didn't like that too much. I 
these fish always, not always, but most of the time will hit it when it's sitting still in between your jerks. And most of the time you don't feel the fish actually hit the lure, but you feel them the second you go to do your next jerk. So it's important when you work this technique to have a, this is a 6.6 six medium action rod. It's better to have a, something that has a really loose tip on it, really flexy because when you're doing that first jerk, it's when you first feel the fish, so you want something that will give a little bit so you don't pull it out of their mouth right away before you get a chance to set the hook into them. And I also find that it gives us the lure a little bit better action when you have something that's flimsy on the tip. There's a fish. A little large mouth here. If I can get a hold of him, quit spinning. done is switched up baits a little bit. Earlier on this morning when I started I was using the husky jerk, a suspending lure that uh, goes down a little deeper, about four to six feet. And I got a couple little small mouths. This water is actually a little dirty. So what I've done is switch to the Rattlin' Rogue in the clown pattern. And this is a floating lure. And I work it a little faster, but it runs a little bit runs a little bit shallower. There's another one. That seems to be the difference right now. Seem to be sitting a little shallower than I was fishing. Heck of a fighter here. <laughs> Jeez. Little smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. <laughs> he does not want to come up. A little keeper smallmouth there. And off he goes. Well, I guess that obviously seemed to make a difference right now. I switched to this Rattlin' Rogue here, the clown pattern. 